Good morning, good morning. It's Friday. Uh, it's my weekly live um, video on a question of the week that comes up in our um, group, She Connects. Um, and before I start, this week, actually this week's question um, was around um, uh, someone posted that their son was at uni and um, and she felt like she was losing him and um, so I wanted to just talk a little bit about that today and my experience of that um, but whilst this is doing this I want to share this into my group she connects um, I don't know if it's gonna work because I'm doing it on my phone today we have been doing a challenge this week in the group uh, for the last five days based on the love journal that um, uh, that I created, um, which if you haven't got, I'll post a link below uh, so you can access it. But anyway, in my group, we have been doing a five day challenge where we've talked about um, all of the body parts, all of us, and why we love them and why we appreciate our bodies. And it's just been outstanding. We've had so much response. Everyone um, has connected and talked about um, their uh, bodies and, and why they why they are grateful for all of our body parts. Um, so it's it's been wonderful if you're not in my group please come in it's called she connects you can probably search it in the um facebook search engine and i'll also link to it um so uh, the other thing i wanted to say was i put a poll up in my group and on my personal page about starting a feminine rising feminine energy online boot camp which will not be about weight loss. I'm absolutely not a believer in, in um, promoting weight loss or diets of any kind. If you coach with me, if you work with me, we work on the fundamentals of who you really are and coming from a place of self-love and self-care. I'm just gonna shut this door because I think you might be able to hear my very loud washing machine. <laughs> I'm so professional. <laughs> anyway, the topic this week was um, uh, the children going away, which I thought was quite appropriate because I know that a lot of women, have, for the first time, their children have gone to university. And um, my son is 18. If you come on, please say hello because I can't um, see who's come on. So I'd love to see if you're here. Give me a wave. Tell me that you're here. Tell me where you are in the world. I'd love to. I'd love to know who's joining me. And if you're watching this later, please, please say hello. Um, oh gosh, the washing machine is still really loud. Hang on. Okay, so. My experience is my son is 18, but last year, hi Katie, lovely to see you here. Um, my son is 18, but last year, just before his 17th birthday, he left home. And at the same time, I was selling my house and my business in Cambridge and I'd lost my father who I'd cared for for a very long time. And I was absolutely devastated. I was devastated. He he doesn't know this and he won't be watching my videos because he thinks I'm going through a midlife crisis at the moment. <laughs> He's like, mom, you've got your nose pierced. You've got like how many tattoos and you've had your ear, like. <laughs> I don't think they realize um, our kids that we were once 18 and, and actually I just feel the same now as I did then. Um, I just don't look the same and I'm a fair bit wiser. But when he left last year, I just was devastated and he went off to work and live in Corfu. And 
because I had been his mum at that point, and, and I missed his 17th birthday, which was very hard, um, and because at that point I'd been a mum, um, you know, all the time for n nearly 17 years at that point, um, and, I, and my life had been structured around being a mum for him, um, it was very difficult to get used to, and he was my only child, to get used to like not having someone come in and um, make smells, make noise, make a mess, um, kind of have a role in the sort of cooking and being responsible 24 seven, whether they're, you know, two or 16. Um, and, and also because my father had died, I'd, I'd been a carer as well. So the two roles that I knew had completely gone. And even though I'll never stop being a mum to Zach, my son, it felt very alien to me and I felt very lost for a long time. And um, I struggled, I struggled with it. Um, and what I want to say is obviously, like I know a lot of us, uh, a lot of you now, your children have either gone into the army or they've gone away somewhere or they've gone to university or they've left home in some form. They might not be contacting you as much as you'd like. Um, I know from my own experience with my son, who did come back for a few months over Christmas and, that, and then he went off again. And I was just as devastated the second time he went off that they are just living their lives as they should and letting them go with confidence is a gift. And the fact that they can go off and have the confidence to go off to wherever they go is just a gift in itself and proves to me that that kind of unconditional love is something that you've given them and they have that courage and that's something I'm extraordinarily proud of having brought up my son for the most part on my own um, that he's gone off he's flown the nest he's set up this little business in Corfu I don't hear from him very often. I sometimes catch what he's up to on Insta stories, which I'm not sure he likes, but I sort of do it anyway. <laughs> but when I do speak to him, albeit briefly, I just am filled with so much love. And whether he contacts me or not, I know that he's okay. And if he wasn't okay, then I'd hear. And I just want you to know that you're not alone if you are missing your child in whatever, you know, for whatever reason. I know some of um, the people who watch this um, have lost their children for different reasons. Um, and it's a hole, it's a void, it's a loss, it's a grieving process um, that is unavoidable, but it doesn't detract from who you are as a person and the love that you give them will always be there. And I think they'll come back and all kids kind of have to go off and explore and break that umbilical cord and do what they've got to do. I know I did. Um, um, and just find themselves. And it's important, it's an important process, but God, no one tells you how painful it is when they go. I just didn't have a clue how painful it was. Um, and I have to say I really struggled and I didn't feel like I was enough and, um, you know, I, I missed him. I missed him hugely. And I still miss him now, but it's eased and I've kind of created a little life and I don't, you know, I don't have to cook at a certain time and I can eat what I want and there are, there are benefits to it. And I'm forever grateful that I even had the experience of being his mother. So... That's what I wanted to say on, on that. Um, it's a difficult topic. And if you've got any other words of wisdom for us, some of the women who are going through that feeling of acute loss when their children leave home, please post the, uh, them on the comments below. Um, if you're not in my group, please come into the group because it's a really nice group. Some amazing women in there. Um, and some women we've got from all over the world. 
Um, if you're struggling with anything at all, please get in touch with me because I'm a very good coach. I have years and years and years of experience and I'd love to connect with you. Um, and I am in the process of um, putting together like a trial feminine, um, feminine only boot camp. Hi Kat, say hello. Oh, you did. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you here, Kat. Kat's one of my amazing clients that I work with one-to-one -one, and she's just a phenomenal woman, absolutely amazing. I'm really uh, grateful uh, that she's working with me. Um, so yeah, I am putting together a female, um, feminine, female rising, feminine rising, <laughs> Well, you're amazing. Um, hi, Melanie. Say hello if you're watching. Um, because I really believe that that I could create something that isn't based around what most people sell, which is you have to change your body and you have to shrink to be accepted um, or love yourself. And I think it's the other way around. Thank you, Kat. Um, I think you. we should start from a place of self-love. And I'd like to sort of do some work around the chakras and healing that. And I'm thinking of doing some sort of yoga and, and exercise, see so your sweat anyway. But it's a bit more gentle and a bit more self-love focused. So if anyone can think of a really cool name, I um, Feminine Rising, Feminine... I don't think Feminine Burping kind of goes... <laughs> Anyway, I'm open to creative ideas because I know, like, I'm not hugely creative when it comes to words, but I know, like, so many of you are, so I would love some help on that. But anyway, if you're not in my group, please come in, have a look at the challenge we've been doing, download my journal, and have a think about self-love and appreciate who you are because you're absolutely worth it. You're amazing. You're beautiful. You're unique. There's no one else like you in the world and you have gifts that you you need to share. And like all this energy that we waste on worrying about what we look like and thinking about food or alcohol or any of these sort of other things that we um, use to numb ourselves is just a waste of our precious time and our precious life that we have here. So I would be honoured to work with you, connect with you, see you in my group. Thank you for watching, if you if you are watching. Um, and I will be back on Monday on here to do a little video about meditation. And um, I'm looking forward to that. So I'll speak to you soon. Take care. If no one's told you today, then I love you. I think you're amazing and you are enough. Have a great day.